Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time, and today we are um, talking about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro and um, the test, the observations, um, Gen 5, the EVF. We're pretty much gonna talk about all my findings uh, in the last uh, week also probably about 10 days now um, using this camera plus I got to talk about my last uh, two videos ago where I had uh, where I did complain about the camera so all that and more coming up All right, guys, if you're new here, you might want to subscribe now because here we do music, movies, tech reviews, short films, short movies, movie reviews, entertainment generally. If you love to watch movies and you love to learn how to make movies, then I guess this is the place for you. Quickly, um, I would like to first of all address the elephant in the room, which is, is the camera any good? Um, some people are complaining about the blue tint. Um, having some colors or stuff like that for me i does that wasn't my problem or that isn't my problem what i complained about on my own was um ease of grading on the footage now i'm still not 100 percent certain i'm still getting to know the camera and understand what's in there uh, but so far I, I'm, I'm getting to realize that actually the ND filters are the best things in, in the camera. In other words, if you want to shoot anything, have an ND on. Now this is this I noticed outdoors. Outdoors when I shot um, wide open in terms of ND clear, ND zero, those footage that I shot without the ND are harder for me to grade. They are just somehow like, it's like they are, even if if it's not utterly bright, if, like it's not, uh, you know, a situation where you could get by without uh, using an ND. When I do, when I take take the footage, it's it feels like it's already blown, like it's already uh, overexposed or something. It just it's just it's hard to recover properly. That's what I noticed. The ND footage is like, that's where the gem, I don't know, that's where the power of the camera shines. You know, on the 6K, I have no problems shooting and, you know, balancing the footage um, and getting the result I want, even though shooting outdoors. But on this uh, 6K Pro, what I did notice was I get better result with the ND on for any situation. So... Just saying, we're still getting to understand, but so far that's what I think is going on. Um, more updates coming on that. But then, anyway, um, last week, I think it was last week when I dropped two videos ago, uh, I did complain that uh, it was hard to grade, and that's what I've just explained. But yeah, here's the issue. Now, bottom line, it was user error. And it was a very, very funny one because if I actually you're gonna laugh, but I don't care. Laugh all you want, but you know, it happens. Now, if you if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have always made it clear that um I'm not I'm not ready to go down the DaVinci Resolve route completely. What I wanted to do was just um get to know a little bit, you know, I could get by and add a lot you know i know how to get in there add a lot i can put on thailand timeline and add a lot and get out of the export you know um if i shoot in bro for project um i just go there add a lot that matches the the clip and then uh, get it out of there to final cut pro i finalize there that's that's my editing software final cut pro is where i do all my grading and color correction um, but um, on this case, I actually thought that this, the special thing about the 6K Pro was that the Gen 5 
came in the camera. Now that's my understanding. You know, so I just felt like if I shoot in ProRes, I'm already still getting Gen 5. You know, so, but however, those clips I shot in RAW, I exported, uh, I went into Davi DaVinci Resolve and I exported as 4K HQ Pro ProRes and that's where I, that's what I used to do my color grading. Usually it works out for me and uh, it's, it's a breeze. But on those ones, I was, it was a struggle. I have discovered that, fine, you are supposed to um, add on the, um, um, set up your DaVinci, you know, with Gen 5, and then, you know, the whole timeline will be Gen 5. So I, now I activated it now. But um, when I got in there to try to export a 6K for the first time, I realized that there was no 6K option. You usually have to go to 8K or 5K. And so I chose, <laughs> why, why bring it down? So I took 8K and um, it was a struggle. So um, it was a struggle for my system because, because actually I wasn't editing in DaVinci, right? So I exported from DaVinci to uh, 8K in Final Cut Pro and my computer was like, Final Cut Pro is not the same thing as DaVinci, you should have known that. But I've struggled my way and I could, the, the pictures were jarring and I just cut the pictures into, you know, a tenth of it because I shot a lot. I cut the picture into a tenth of it and I just put that out and that's when I realized that, you know, I couldn't really judge the footage and all that. And now in this video, I'm going to show you um, the rest of the videos. Uh, I'm, I, I'm going to bring them down to 4K and I have a smoother experience editing. All the footage I shot in ND6, all the footage, because it was very bright. And ND6 all the way, um, the same settings, I write them on the screen and you check it out and let me know what you think. Welcome back guys. All through this shooting, I wanted you to know that I had the camera. I had this camera this way most of the time. One thing I realized as lovely as this thing, I love it. I still love it. I have no complaints whatsoever. But however, you can't be doing this for long. You soon begin to feel, you know, some pain. That's why those stuff are there. When I went out, I didn't take those extra because I felt it was always going to be comfortable. After a while, it starts not to be. So you want to have your stuff, uh, mouthpiece or cover piece for this viewfinder in your pocket, in your bag, when you go out shooting, it will help you stay longer. So besides that, it was uh, a breeze to shoot with this. This is a life lifesaver. Like I just, when, when I was tired of using this, I put this like this, I'll bring this out like this and I could just Hold it and a bright sunny daylight, yeah, for the first time with any camera. 
the first time with any camera I could use the viewfinder in such a bright sunlight. It is awesome. It is awesome. It is a, it's, a, it's just a different approach. It's just a new thing for me right now and I'm so excited about it. I have no problem with my camera whatsoever. Um, I'm only getting to know. I don't think Blackmagic knows everything or said everything in detail. I think we all will need to find that out ourselves, but there's some difference. You would definitely be getting better results with this camera than the 6K. Not because there are different sensors, but because the efficiency, the fact that you have this thing will give you better results. One thing I do want to say is, good thing is that on this menu, they give you the option to go in here, get your viewfinder, your monitor. Viewfinder is an option. So initially when I was struggling with this, I wanted to see the picking there. I could not see the picking. I was like, oh, this is messed up. I thought it was there. And then I noticed that the uh, viewfinder option is there. You can activate false, false color and have and see in false color everything as you want it. So that's a very, very good thing. It's a nice to have. I've heard some people complain about the AVF, but not me. I think yeah, it's just about you, how you working process is so if it's not your thing go ahead and return it or sell it or whichever way you want to you know but that's been it for me thank you guys for watching um like subscribe comment let me know your feedbacks um, are you keeping yours some people are returning theirs but this camera is staying right here i'm rocking it alongside with the 6k and i'll tell you in another video the importance of having two cameras see you in the next one peace